Hello viewers, this is Ethan Immortal and welcome to episode 1 of Watch Dogs Bad Blood, the new DLC expansion for Watch Dogs. In this expansion you play as Raymond T-Bone Kenny, who was in the single player campaign of the main game. This takes place after the end of the main story. T-Bone is now on the run from Bloom and has to decide whether to run away and start a new life or to fight Bloom to save an old friend. According to Ubisoft, the DLC contains 10 new missions, a new online co-op mode, new locations and new weapons. It seems that the new online co-op mode is called Street Sweep, where T-Bone is clearing out some of Chicago's gang areas, and to do this you'll be joined by a friend in co-op, so you can fully expect I'll be doing some videos of that, but for the moment I'm going to start the first mission and see what the story holds. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so now there's a new option. It's Aiden Pierce continue in Aiden Pierce New Game. So that's for the the original story. And then there's now Watch Dogs Bad Blood. So I will start a new game of that and see what it holds. So this is a new, obviously a new introduction. Bad blood, very nice. I've seen red lines, so I wonder if there'll be a change in theme from the kind of blue colours that we're used to. This is anything but coffee. And secondly, I'm here because head office hired me to run a pen test on your system. And good job, guys. You passed. <laughs> I really enjoyed T Bone. Yeah. Hey, Ray. Hey, it's Tobias. Uh, yeah. Everything's solid here. Good. Okay, yeah, I'll tell him. <laughs> she wants me to check your routers, too. Yeah. Yeah, okay, will do. Thanks. Bye now. Pencil pushers. What can you do, huh? Still goes gonna, huh? Hey! Oh. Is this gonna be. Bloom will know I'm here. I gotta move. Yeah, I had high hopes for Bloom when I applied. I fell for the whole damn sales pitch. I knew we'd do something groundbreaking, but this thing was broken from the get-go. Now I'm too late, and the CTOS is too big. Oh. Worth looking around. There we go. It's been so long since I actually finished the, the main campaign. I'm uh, quite excited to have some new single-player content again. Look in here. Anything worth seeing in here? Nope. Okay. Was that something? I thought I had something here. All right. So we'll go up on top of this and set off the forklift. Affect him. Um, 
Oh, there we go. Just take him down. Oh, nice. So they did say that uh, I'll take that, that's a gun. So what have we got now? Not much, but enough. <laughs> they did say that uh, T-Bone would act differently than Pierce. He's got a different kind of style, so we've just seen that there. I like the idea of the taser, that's a nice one. It's different than Aiden just smashing someone's skull in. I'm not smart. I could trap some of these mouth breathers in their offices. Oh, nice to walk. Okay. Hey, hey! I'm stuck in here! Oh. Do cover to cover. We'll use his camera just to check. Yep, so there's another guy. Keep an eye in the hallway. I'll check the office. All right. Hmm. Reminds me a bit of DSX. <laughs> There. Oh, go T Bone. Oh, crap, 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 move. God damn. Yeah, well, I can lock myself in for all the good it'll do. And I have, don't have focus ability yet either. Move to cover. It does seem very in. interesting. Oh, I've got someone coming up behind me as well. Take him down. Oh, get down, get down, get down. I've messed this up so bad. I think I'm over there now. Can you explode that? Oh, you can. Shit. Move. Do that. I'll just take him down. There we go. Oh, oh, I'm going for non lethal here. Come on, T Bone. <laughs> okay, well, that was not. Ah, oh, I could explode that as well. A defibrillator. That wasn't entirely the plan. I'm usually quite good at the stealth, but it worked anyway. Just check in here, see if there's anything worth getting. Ah, there's another attract option in there as well. It's just been a while since I've actually used the... Uh, well, since I've really used many of the single player components. I've obviously completed the game a long time ago, so... But I'm liking T-Bone as a character so far. I didn't do that. They just cut bow to the elevators. I'm only hoping I get stuck in one. Right, up we go. Somebody check the elevator. Hurry. Okay. Damn, is there a security convention in town? I never see <laughs> so many guards. What's going on? Raymond Kang. That's what they're claiming. You know, my dad used to work with the guy. Actually, I'm going to do this right, and I'm going to see if there are any other cameras or any other people around. Oh, well, your dad probably never saw right. anything. Just get a better idea who's in the place. Got one over there as well, so... Anyone up here? Plenty of explosive opportunities. Go. Oh, 
distract them. Oh, it's coming this way. Don't open the door just yet. Okay. This guy's coming around this way. Look for him. Go over there. Huh? Be careful. Well. Oh boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You gonna come in? Oh. Well, I can just stand here and wait it out. Whoa. Didn't see you there. Any other explosive? around. But that as well. Anyone goes by that. Damn it. Just need to go for it. Just well out of practice so far. Can't jump that. Oh, I can. Good. Damn. <laughs> You're supposed to be able to vault over low objects and take someone down. Anyway, I wouldn't mind another another crack at this room. I think I really just kind of messed that up. Just really hanging on that last loading bit. Okay. Keep alert. Damn. Is there a security convention that. in town? I've never seen so many guards. And make sure to get them all this time. You know my dad used to work for a guy. He said he was surly, but really just a big hippie once you got to know him. Yeah, well, your dad probably never saw any of the man's hobbies. The elevator up there. I think they came out of that door the last time. So he's going up there. Is that two of them going to go up? That would be good. Let's see if we can get this guy when he's going by. Come on. Good, that just keeps everything undercover. Attract. No, don't want to do that. I want to attract someone into the room. Okay. Don't let your I deal with this guy. Okay. Come on. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no. What? What? Oh. Right. Screw it. Oh. Just gonna shoot my way out then. Just <laughs> one more. Got him. I think that's everyone. Sure, there'll be other missions where stealth will be fine, but for this one, I'll just play it quick. <laughs> All right, nothing left in here, I don't think. Elevator. All right, I'm 
safe in here for now, but I'm gonna have to find a vulnerability pronto. Pronto. Could it be this thing that we're being led to deliberately? Oh, there's a blackout on the left of the screen there. him taken care of. Oh, I recognise this area. Yeah, you can actually run right up and round and onto the top of that building. Oh, could I jump onto the train and just get away? Would it be that easy? Go. Is that going to be it? So we need every available backup. We had them. So nearly at the escape point. They've got cars in pursuit, but they obviously can't see me. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Go. I really like T Bone as a character. I mean, that's really good. Okay, so T Bone's base. the gun. Hadn't even thought of that. <laughs> and the bike. See how well the 50 year old T-Bone rides a bike. Oh, I've got to unlock all the vehicles again. <laughs> I suppose it makes sense. Gives something else to do. Right, where is the... It's all the way down here. So... Yeah, I'll need to double back. T-Bone, what's up? Aiden, I just want to let you know I'm done. Well, it's about time. Do you have an escape plan? I just dumped a false trail in the blue system. Over the next two weeks, they're going to see me pop up in Wichita, Amarillo, Tucson. I'll drop off their map somewhere in Mexico. Well, you head the other direction. Hey, I've got a one-way cruise out of Miami. If things ever calm down, I'll find a way to contact you. But you take care of yourself, T-Bone. Stay out of trouble this time. Oh, I intend to. Adios, amigo. Adios. It's a little handoff from Eden. That's kind of nice inclusion. Eden sounding really gritty as ever. <laughs> So, evidently T-Bone is not operating out of the bunker now. Let's see where he is. Here it is. 
Enter the silo. Just straight up through the front door. No. Nope. I'm home. Here we go. First rule of survival: always use the back door. <laughs> Even addresses what I was talking Never about. Make a copy of the key. Activate security system. Sit down. You know, here we go. You ain't pretty. You ain't cozy. And you're sure as shit ain't home. But you were there for me when I needed you, baby. Up my guard dogs. So I'm gonna make that happen. There we go. I gotta burn these hard drives in the morning. I never got to use these. I guess it's better to be an unfulfilled paranoid than a dead one. So this is basically revolving around the idea that uh T-Bone is, is done and he's heading away and so this is the, the set up to that obviously he's getting Last ready to leave rabbit hole. Oh, I should get some shut out Put that thing in a charger, mate. <laughs> oh, I love the I love the dread going crazy there. <laughs> Tobias. So this is the friend that you. you have to make the decision for it. Wonder if it lets you make a decision to just say screw it and no. leave. Just fuck off, go away. <laughs> All right. All right. It's been ten years, Frewer. This had better be good. Ray, send the police. No, wait. Don't send the police. They may be here. Can you find me? Calm down. This is another one of your episodes. My episodes? Ray, they're gonna kill me. D do you understand? They who? I don't know. They. They hit me with something. I, m I must have blacked out. I, I think maybe I'm in a trunk. I'm definitely in a trunk, right? Can you track me? Not very well. Your GPS signal's cutting in and out. Oh, of course. Oh, they're jamming it. Oh, this is bad. Like, fixer bad. Fuck. All right, I'm on my way. Sounds like Frewer is in real danger here. But if I'm gonna get out of Chicago, it needs to be now. Fuck. I can't just leave him. So can I use any of these guns that are here? The sniper rifle right on the wall there. Can I take it? No? No. I'm just loaded for bear but I can, I can just walk out with the stuff that I've found on other people. I don't mean to be cynical about it, I just I hate when there's stuff like that right there, but of course you can't use it because the story hasn't dictated it yet. But let's go and save Tobias. Ray, my phone battery is running low here. I've gotta hurry. Calm the fuck down. Now feel around the latch for a truck. Right there. If it's a newer car, it'll have one. Uh, no, nothing. 
All right, so we know we're in an old car. It's a start. Old car? No, that is not a start. Maybe they removed the trunk latch. You got any tools back there with you? Check for a compartment. There might be a jack in it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, there's a jack. I think I can pop the lid with one of these. That's the idea, but we don't want them to hear it oh. pop. So I want you to bang around a lot when you do it. And shout, too. Hmm? Okay. Here it goes. Hey! Hey, let me out of here! Help! Help! It's open. Just stayed on the road I was on. Let's crack the lid. Tell me what you see. I see construction workers on the road. This is Chicago. That could be anywhere. Oh! <laughs> road cones. I see a lot of road cones. Road cone? Road cone? I'm really moving at speed. Buildings for businesses. What do you see? Oh, that's... No, no, I don't know what that is. Come on, man. There's a half-demolished apartment building. Looks like housing projects. Sounds like you're in the wards. Good. Through it. Anything else? Just a lot of buildings, Ray. Do they say anything? Oh, I can't see. Wait. More welcome. Hey, my phone is almost dead. Hurry. Nearly there. That's them up ahead. Okay, come on. There he is. I see you. Okay. I need you to keep that trunk closed. Oh. Brace yourself. Oh, wait. Brace myself. Gonna have to run. Brace myself. <laughs> It's about to get bumpy. Hey! Don't want to die in here! You won't, I promise. Brewer! You okay in there? Let me out! Just hang on! Keep your eyes sharp! Oh! Shouldn't have screwed the car over so hard. Try and not get spotted by them. Because the car won't take a lot more abuse. Nearly there. Okay, listen, regroup. We need so to figure this out. I don't know what to expect from that trunk. Brewer was a mess with the party plays. Aid ran into it recently, said he was homeless. Doped up on something barely coherent. Hell, Brewer probably still blames me for all his problems. So Tobias is the, the black market vendor <laughs> that Aiden's been buying all the stuff off of. Oh. So if you're playing this mission at any point, bear in mind that you have to drive the car that you screw over. Right. <laughs> Jesus, Ray. It really zapped me. Says the lunatic with the tire iron. I'm not a lunatic. So you gonna tell me what you did to piss off the fixers? Me? <laughs> this is on you. I'm still running from your mess. I have been ever since you and Rose decided to blow whistles at Bloom. I had a good life, Ray. You sure fooled me. We had to walk around on eggshells because you were such a head case. <laughs> well, Rose is dead now. And your little tantrum in 2003. How many people died? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm the head case. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't... I, I... You know what? Thanks for the rescue. <laughs> but 
I need to go. Eleven. Eleven people died. Lindsay Garcia. Jeremy Connors. You want more? Because I can list them all for you. If you run, Bloom will find you. I know, because I'm the one who wrote the goddamn code that'll help him to do it. Now, I can get you out. But I need to hit Bloom again. Find out what the hell they know. You can stay in my place. Just don't touch my stuff. Don't monkey with my system. And don't make any noise. <laughs> yeah. I'll try to control myself. And most importantly, do not touch any of my beer. <laughs> I don't drink. Of course you do. Wasn't planning on sticking around. I need to That's act call. one. Detective Billing speaking. Sheila. Mystery man, is that you? I assumed you were dead. Did you miss me? Nope. I love the growing tower of crime reports on my desk. Please tell me that's why you called. Mm hmm. Well, I'm running low on cash and supplies. Well, there's plenty to do. Every gangbanger, goon, and gorilla's out there fighting for a piece of the cake now that Lecky Quinn and Iraq are dead. And I'm running out of people to trust within the department. Just point me in the right direction and I'll do the dirty work. So this will be the call. Taxpayer money, keeping the thugs off the streets. Ain't it beautiful when the system works, sweetheart? <laughs> you are bad. Hold on, I'll send you what I've got. Let me check my map. Okay, so this is the... The co op portion. For you, the Chicago South Club, now spearheaded by Quinn's baby boy. All right. Some of these will be one time targets of opportunity, and some of them will be done to send a message. Hit those once a day so they know we're watching. Just remember if you get caught. Never heard of you. Good. Give me a call before you go in. All right. So that's there, the street sweep. So these are uh, co-op missions where, and and apparently they, they are dynamic as well, so they'll actually be generating uh, other missions, I think. I'll know more once I get more into it, but um, quite looking forward to doing co-op. I always felt like this game would have suited that from the start. So it's good that they're adding that in. And evidently they're adding in kind of daily tasks as well. So um, unlike the, the fixer and uh, various gang hideouts and everything that you could do in the original game, you can repeat these. Obviously, the, the after the fact, they added the ability to go back and redo those. But in the original game, once you had done a fixer contract, you couldn't go back and redo it. So it's kind of nice that they're making these repeatable. I think that'll do for now and I'll get this up and I'll see you in episode two.